Hey everybody, Matt Tobacco from SmokingTobacco.com. I am here at TPE 2023 with coverage brought to you by Drew Estate. We are at the Cavalier Geneve booth with Sebastian from uh, from Cavalier. <laughs> it's early or oh, late night, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Last night was industry party night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. It was good. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we pay the price the next day. So we're at the Cavalier booth. We're looking. I know you have some new products that you're showcasing. Um, tell us a little bit about what you have at the show today. So obviously the same old right, white, black, two viso, everything that um, yep. we've already been promoting. But one thing we have that changed quite a bit in the Cavalier lineup, the way it was known, is what was formerly known as the USA exclusive, right? So we had a whole rebrand, reblend right there. It's now called regional exclusive, just being rebranded, you know, renamed a little bit around too. Um, it was meant just to be able to have it stand on its own. The reason is we're actually expanding with regional exclusive in the rest of the world too. Uh, you'll see some things about Norway, um, Norway Switzerland, uh, Germany, Korea, etc., etc. So a little list, nice little list was going to pop up. So we needed to really have it. Uh, couldn't it? You know, it was kind of. Um, same band as the whites in a different color and it was time for it to actually stand again on its own. So region exclusive, um, it's same wrapper, San Andres, but then the rest changed. One of the key things is being a regional, something we hadn't done in the original release, was use actually um, US tobacco in Puerto US, completely made sense. So we'll find some Pennsylvania, amongst other things in there. Um, definitely something to try. One new size too, four by 50, a nice little petite robusto. It's a good little thing if it's, well, too hot, too cold, right. nice little cigar, or, you know, have a little less time. Um, the real new new is right here. So it is the Tres Delincuentes, value nine, first time for us. We've never done that before. Yep. Um, the whole thought was, you know, not only everything is going up, costing and everything, but we figured if we had to do something was now. We never had anything in that price line. The cool thing I think about it was it really came from music. I was, we were actually driving back from the finca in Hamastran in Honduras, we have a factory in Danli, and we had Brian's phone on in the car and Cypress Seals, Delinquent Habits, came on Tres Delinquentes. Aileen, Brian and I in the car, we just looked at each other and like, come on. Okay, that's the thing. So Aileen started working on it, had some more, um, like, street kind of visual, uh, graphic. I'm really happy with the final result. It's, you know, same tobaccos. We process them ourselves the same way we do with the other ones. We just figured every little thing we could do to lower, lower the cost as much as possible. You find them in 24 count boxes. Three wrappers, Connecticut, Abano, and Maduro. Three sizes. Everything goes over around three, I guess. There's the Inquenta, no? Right. Robusto, Toro, and Gordo. Gordo being a six and a quarter by 60. And you have price points going from 695 to 795. You know, it does seem to be a, a trend that I'm seeing, not with every brand, but a, a good amount of brands that are introducing a more cost-effective product, especially right now. We are seeing a lot of prices go up, taxes yeah. obviously play a huge role in that, you have the inflation, yeah. stuff that we've all been talking about. And then, of course, there's always been the kind of the fallout from the pandemic when prices of things went up and things that were going on back then that, you know, that trickle effect, that, the ripple effect, rather, um, that have still carried out. And, so seeing brands try to come up with more cost-effective stuff, really appeal to the consumers who maybe don't have as much money to spend right now um, after the last couple of years. So it's 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 something. It's interesting to see. It's great to see. Uh, I, it's also a, another way to obviously get new customers into the brand. Well, you you, you expand right. You, you kind yeah. of offer. You have a, a wider offering. Also, it allows you to be more creative visually. I mean, you know, it's it's always the same thing. You touch another. You create another brand, which means that you also just have the opportunity to be creative, create something visually different that might talk to other people and that also talks to you differently. Uh, the key with this, these kind of products is be able to actually va deliver value not only in the price, but in the cigar itself, in the tobacco itself and everything. So it's really important to notice, uh, to, to, to mention for me that, um, again, it's more of an aesthetic thing in terms of, you know, instead of doing A-grade aesthetic wrappers, you know, right. a little bit, but the process is the same. Yeah. So the profile is amazing, the tobacco is amazing, you just get it for a pretty interesting price, basically. 
Yeah, absolutely. No, I think it's great. Uh, I look forward to checking those out and seeing those hit the store shelves. Uh, Sebastian, thanks for being here with us today. I appreciate you talking with us, and good luck with the rest of the trade show. No, I appreciate you guys. Th thank you for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you around. Absolutely. Guys, stay tuned for more coverage from TPE 2023, brought to you by Drew Estate.